I came from North Queensland, went to boarding school in Brisbane. When I was 16, I was in hospital for three weeks with pneumonia. The staff were very good. They'd come and chat to me and talk to me. One day, one of the doctors came and asked me what I was going to do when I left school. And I said, I'm going to do law. Oh, don't do law, he said, there's plenty of them. And uh, I said, well, what should I be? He said, a speech therapist. My reply to that was, what on earth is a speech therapist? Uh, I joined Speech Pathology, well it wasn't Speech Pathology Australia then, but the association back in, I think it would have been about 1960 that I joined. The association was started by uh, the founding members and the people that I actually knew. They were so passionate about what they wanted for this profession and, and they worked very hard to set it up. And when they did set up the first part of it, which is the one of 70 years, they thought they had achieved a lot and they had. But now I think what's happened, making it into a body that was a corporate body that actually functions well, has money that they can do things with, um, they're there to, to lobby with governments and all of that. The expectations are much greater than what they were on our day, but I think the other thing, they're much more respected than we were in my day. Um, we were sort of seen as a itty bitty profession, whereas now I think people who deal with us, whether they be professionals, doctors, psychologists or patients, they respect what we do. They, yeah, and appreciate it. So I think that's probably one thing that I've noticed most of all. No regrets? No. I wouldn't be much of a lawyer, I think. <laughs> much better as a speech pathologist. <laughs>